Can an F-22 Raptor fly into Russia undetected? Well, in the list of the secret ingredients, KFC's 11 herbs still rank second because the ingredients of the F-22 Raptor's stealth coating are first. Stealth simply reduces the distance at which your jet can be detected, and if you get so close to the radar, it will bite you. For high-frequency Russian radars, the F-22 is all invisible, but for low-frequency radars, the rules are different. Theoretically speaking, lower-frequency radar signals would require a much stronger layer of absorbent paint than we've seen on the F-22. In fact, the Raptor would need to have meters of this paint applied to its skin and probably couldn't fly at all like that. It would eventually become a big ball of radar-absorbing material, that's it. The military would plot a path to keep the Raptor away from low-frequency radar installations if they sent it into Russian airspace, but this isn't Top Gun 3, where your jets lift off of aircraft carrier, you'd employ tomahawks for seed purposes and destroy the adversary. Tomahawks would be used to neutralize Russian air defenses, but if poorly equipped Serbia could shoot down these slow-moving missiles in 1999, why can't Russia? If an F-22 enters Russia, the low-frequency and over-the-horizon radars will definitely detect its presence, but some say none of them will be able to provide a firing solution, and Russian air defenses would only waste hundreds of surface-to-air missiles, but is this true? Powerful optic fiber networking signal processing enables the Russians to launch missiles on even the stealthiest planes, like the one in question, if their combined air defense network is unbroken. The F-22 cannot avoid S-400 missiles at Mach 15. By the way, isn't it a big missile to shoot down a fighter jet? and keep in mind Russian fighter jets that can engage the Raptor. But let's say the F-22 enters and carries out its mission, it is still not worth it because it would eventually initiate nuclear winter. Although logical, our content source gave us another situation. A small group of military commandos who emerge from a US attack submarine off the coastline, infiltrate Russia on the land, and place a few pounds of C-4 in strategic locations, will likely work equally well.